understanding culture, society, and politics. I'm Mrs. Bravo, your teacher for today. For today's lesson, we will be talking about the concept, characteristic, and forms of social systems using sociological perspective. The main objective of this lesson is for the learners to compare and contrast the two forms of stratification system using a Venn diagram. Identify the characteristic of the system of stratifications and view stratification system as a way for social mobility and a reason for social inequality in the society. Did you know that the categorization or classification of the different groups within the society comes from the word differentiation? Differentiation is the methods of relating people in terms of certain social characteristics and then classifying them into social categories based on their characteristics. It does not involve ranking. For example, we tend to dif uh, differentiate the people according to their gender, occupation, education, age, race, and others. This has led to the rise of social stratification. Social stratification is a society's division or categorization of people into socioeconomic strata or layer based on their occupation and income, wealth or status, or derived to power. Social stratification in turn led to social inequality and social standing. Social class. Social class sometimes referred to as just class. A group of people within a society is who possess the same socio-economic status. Social class are central to social theory of Karl Marx since they affect the formation of states, politics, and structures of society in general. Social class subdivide people into different groups. These are the upper, middle, and lower class. The upper class consists of elite or wealthy families, who are the most productive family in their respective areas. They value heritage and reputation most over wealth. They mostly born in a wealthy family and high status and prestige. Some examples of the upper class are royal families, old families that own huge corporations with rich heritage or have great political power. The middle class. The middle class is mostly composed of professional people like lawyers, doctors, managers, owners of small businesses, ex executives, and any other. They take pride over the fact that they have attained and earned the higher education. Thus, they value the education most. The lower class. Lower class are those depend solely on their subsidy from government agency or non-government organization in order to live. Common examples are office or clerical workers, skilled and skilled craftsmen, farm employees, underemployed, indigent family, and others. Lower class is not exactly poor. However, they do lack the power to attain financial freedom instead of depending only on their salaries. Status Status is the individual's position in the social structure or hierarchy. It is an individual standing in relation to other people standing in the society. There are two types of status. First, describe status. It is a status that is assigned or given by the society or group on the basis of some fixed category. For example, if you are born with a female reproductive organ, then you are designated as a daughter. You did not choose this status, but it is given unto you. Achieve status, on the other hand, is something that you earned and strive for. You choose and work hard for this status. For example, being world-class athlete or a medical doctor or a college professor and many others. Social mobility is the act of moving from one social status to another in a system or social hierarchy or stratification. If such movement involves a change in a position but within the same social class, that is called horizontal mobility. 
For example, a high school teacher get promoted from a teacher 1 position to teacher 2. He might be promoted but he stay in the same social class. If the movement involves a change in social class, this is what we refer to as vertical mobility. It can either be an upward mobility or downward mobility. For example, a royal prince, a royal prince marries a non-royal girl. Then that girl moves from lower class to upper class. That is upward mobility. Another example, if a huge business type who owns numerous corporation suddenly gets bankrupt, ends up becoming an average employee with a minimum wage, then that is the more the move from the upper class to the lower class and then that is downward mobility mobility certainly happens in this quite normal within the society but there is a social stratification system that is not allow this change let's talk about system of stratification systems of stratification there are different types of systems of stratification First is the closed system. People are born into their social standing and remain in it. A child cannot be other than what his or parent are. For example, if you are born into a peasant family, then you are being recognized as a peasant yourself. This type of system imposes rigid boundaries among social groups, which causes limited interaction among members of different social groups or people who occupy different levels in social hierarchy. One of the best example of closed system is the caste system of India. This system is quite resistant to change in social roles. That is why people who are born in poor families remain poor for the rest of their lives. People can do little or nothing to change their social standing. People are assigned occupation or social roles regard regardless of their talents, interest, or potential. You can say that this is somewhat unfair, but this still existing in our world as of today. Open systems, on the other hand, is more free. Individuals can change social class within the society and are free to earn an education or employment other than what their parents have been. This provides more flexible social roles and increased social mobility. Interaction among different social groups are also allowed. As you may have noticed, Philippines have an open system stories of people who went drugs to riches is common here in our country. And individuals are encouraged to try and earn higher education in order to get better employment and start their own business. The best example of open system is the class system. Unlike case system, the class system allows individuals to change social classes within the society. There are more flexible social roles and social mobility. Either vertical or horizontal are common. Interaction among different social groups are allowed. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. See you again next time. Bye-bye.